station and you don't know where to go Ask Nina for some help, cause she's got a science show She makes sense of her senses while helping all her fans By doing her experiments with potions and with that Touch your tongue, fingers, eyes, ears, nose Every day we use our senses wherever we may go Fingers, eyes, ears, nose. Nina and the neurons find out what you need to know. Nina and the neurons find out what you need to know. Cookie helps us with our eyes and Felix with our touch. All these steps are smells and sense and bells, she hears so much. But it's Ollie's brother, he helps us with our taste. Then Nina's little neurons and they're coming to your place. Touch your tongue. Fingers, eyes, ears, nose. Nina and the neurons find out what you need to know. Yeah. Nina and the neurons find out what you need to know. Oh, yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi, Nina. Right, today I'm going to be putting on a scientific magic show for you using <gasps> this. What do you think it is? Water. You're right. So now I'm going to need a rabbit. Does anyone have a rabbit with them? No. Oh, mate, you've got a rabbit. Thank you very much. OK, now, magicians, they always use rabbits for tricks, don't they? Yes. Well, before your very eyes, I'm going to make this rabbit turn round and face the other way, using only these beakers of water. All I need to do is place the rabbit behind this vase here and then pour in these beakers of water. And hey, presto, the rabbit's completely turned round the other way. You see, when we look at something through water, it sort of bends what we see. And when the water's in something round like this vase, it actually flips what we see right around. And if I want to turn the rabbit back the way he was before, all I need to do is move him out to the side. And there you are. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Right now, thanks. Uh, uh, no way, bud. I did that once before, you know. I really didn't care for it at all. Oh! I don't know what's wrong with you lot. I'll smell your flower, bud. <gasps> Great! Take a big sniff, Ollie. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> I hear a beep, I see a flash, I wonder what they're going to ask. Hi Nina, I'm Patrick and I've got a question. How can I be the best hider when I'm playing hide and seek? Oh, that's a great question, Patrick. And we're going to have loads of fun finding out how not to be found. OK then, I'll come round soon to help you answer your question. Thanks Nina, see you soon. Well, I think we're going to need some help to answer this one, and I know just who to ask. OK, neurons, time to get to work. Neurons at the ready, Nina. OK, so Patrick's question is, how can I be the best hider when I play hide-and-seek? So which neuron do you think will be the most useful in helping us find the answer? Me! 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 Oh, me. me! Me! Will it be fabulous Felix? I can help so very much if you need the sense of touch. Will it be beautiful Belle? I send messages to brain from ear. If there's a sound, I'll help you hear. Will it be lovely Luke? For looking and seeing, day or night, I'll help you with your sense of sight. Will it be awesome, Ollie? If it's Pongy or Whiffy, but you can't tell, my messages help your sense of smell. Or will it be Baby Bud? Sour, salty, bitter or sweet, I'm your taste buddy whenever you eat. <laughs> it's Luke! Yes. Go Luke! Go Luke! Go Luke! Go Luke! Go Luke! Go Luke, go Luke. Cool, Nina. I'll be looking out to help ya. Thanks, Luke. Today's question is how can I be the best hider when I play hide and seek? And because hide and seek's all about looking, Luke will be helping us. But stand by, neurons. I may need help from all of you today. 
Okay then, let's go. Patrick and his brother Jack will be finding out about hide and seek. Ready or not? Here they come! Today, for one day only, Patrick and Jack will become the Experimenters! Hello, guys! Hi, Nina. Hi, Patrick. So your question is, how can I be the best hider when I play hide-and-seek? So why do you want to learn all about hiding? Because whenever I play hide-and-seek with my brother Jack, he always finds me. Oh, I love hide-and-seek. It's one of my favourite games. Well, let's go and get ready to play a game for our first experiment. Let's go. Are you standing by, ready to help, Luke? At your service, Nina. Here's looking at you. OK, Patrick, off you go and hide. Now, Jack, you're going to try and find him, so start counting. One, two, three, four... Neurons, where do you think Patrick should hide? I think behind the hedge to get the tickly feeling of the leaves. Patrick should chew somewhere very quiet so that Jack can't hear where he is. 1920, coming, ready or not. Found you, found you, found you. Two, three. Look, I think he has found a great place to hide. Nine. Ten, coming, ready or not. you. Coming, ready or not. you. Why can you always find me, Nina? Oh, well, one reason is that your big brother Jack is older and stronger than you, so he can look around lots of different places really quickly. But the main reason is you're really easy to spot. Oh, I've just thought of a place where we can find out loads about hiding. Let's go! So, why do you think we've come to an animal park? To see lots of different animals. That's right. So let's count how many we can see and what different colours they are. Animals did you see, Patrick? I saw lots, Nina. And what different colours were the animals you saw? The giraffes were orange and brown, and the tigers were orange with black stripes. That's right, they are all kinds of colours. So, do you know why they're all different colours? Is it to do with where they live? Well done, that's right. Their coats are all different colours and patterns with spots and stripes because of where they live. The leopard, for example, lives in a hot place where the grass is dry and brown, so the colour and marks on her coat help her to hide. Lots of animals use their markings to hide from other animals who might want to hunt them for food, and some hunting animals use their markings to hide from their prey so they can sneak up on them without being seen. Oh, I see. So we've seen lots of animals that use different colours and patterns on their coat to hide, but we haven't seen the best hiders of all the champions of hiding. So let's go. Now, in this tank is something so well hidden, you can hardly see it. What can you see, Patrick? I can see leaves and twigs. And what about you, Jack? The same. Well, have a closer look. I can see one. I can see one. I can see a stick insect. Well done, that's a stick insect. You used your eyes really well to see that. Yes, they did, Nina. This is hard work. So the animals we've seen today all have one thing in common. They all need to hide in their surroundings to stay safe. But what helps them do this? Their skin is the same colour as the place they live, so it helps them to hide. 
That's right, and it's called camouflage. It's what some animals have to help them disguise themselves for their protection. The stripes on a tiger and the colour of a stick insect, it helps them blend into the background so they're more difficult to see. So, Patrick, can you think what you could do to make it more difficult for your brother to find you when you're playing hide-and-seek? Make my clothes the same colour as the place I'm hiding. That's right. Brilliant. So, we have discovered that there were lots of reasons that your brother could find you when you were playing hide-and-seek, but the main reason was that your clothes weren't camouflaged, so you could be spotted really easily. So I think we need to use what we've learned today, play another game of hide-and-seek, and see if it helps. <laughs> right, let's try that experiment again. You go off and get changed into your special outfit, then hide. And Jack, me and you can try and spot him. I hope Patrick wins this time. Jack will need to keep looking if he wants to spot him. I hope he remembers to stay quiet so that Jack won't hear him. Anywhere. Oh. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. I win oh. oh, well done. You camouflaged yourself so well, your brother couldn't see you. Well done. <laughs> so, Patrick, I hope I've answered your question. You wanted to know how can I be the best hider when I'm playing hide and seek? So, first of all, we played a game of hide-and-seek to work out what makes a good hider. And even though your big brother Jack is bigger and stronger than you, the main reason he found you so quickly is that your clothes were really bright and that made you really easy to spot. And then we went to the animal park so we could see some animals that were very good at hiding. And the reason they could hide so well was their skins camouflaged them so they could blend into the background. Now, the last game of hide-and-seek we had, you copied the animals we saw by wearing something which camouflaged you. And did it work? Yes, it did, Nina. Brilliant! So the answer to your question is, when you need to hide, wear clothes that are similar in colour to the place you're hiding in. <laughs> It's been such a great day, man, watching the kids play in hide-and-seek. It's been a marvellous day, especially all that hiding in bushes and being tickled by leaves. Oh, I've had a brilliant day, listening to all those animal noises at the animal park. I really enjoyed myself today, even if some of the animals were a little whiffy. I've had a fabby day, especially learning how to win at hide-and-seek. Who wants a game? Oh, oh God. God! We've had a sensational time today. I hope you've enjoyed it too. See you again soon. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. Show me, show me Chris. And Poi. Show me, show me all the toys. In our playroom. Way up in the sky. Show me, show me, sing along songs! Magical adventures! And our new friend, Uki. So bring your favourite toy and join Chris and Poi up high in the sky for Show, show Me, Show Me on CBeebies! Monday at 9. Andy's going to mime a job, and we have to guess which job he's miming. That's right, indeed. Andy, are you ready? I'm ready. Here Three, we go. Three, two, one, go! Right. Um. Oh, it's a birthday hat. Happy birthday. Uh, you're a, a motorcycle courier. 
I know we didn't. You were doing your belt up just then. You're a you're a, a builder. builder. Yeah, you're Bob the Builder. You're mixing paint. paint. Oh yeah, an artist. Yeah, just like Louis painting. Yeah, yeah.